What's up guys, Grim here. If you left a comment in the comment section of the last weekend video that we did, then you are entered into the giveaway of a 30 day patron pass. And the winner of that pass is... Boom. Congratulations, we'll be sending it to you in the game just shortly. Just be a little bit patient, or typically not that fast at sending out the gifts. As usual guys, whenever you make donations to the channel via the PayPal link in the description below the videos, then that's first giveaways. Unfortunately, this is like the second or third week in a row that we have not had any donations at all. Boo! How come it is whenever I work all the time, you guys make tons of donations, but once I quit my job, all of a sudden the donations just die completely. Oh well, we're still going to do the giveaway, so let's go ahead ahead and give away another 30 day patron pass to you guys. If you'd like to be entered into this giveaway all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below the video and you will be entered into this giveaway. Just be sure to put your character name and server in the comment. Also you must be subscribed to the channel and hit that like button. The winner will be announced in the next weekend video. Good luck everybody. What's up guys, today we're going to go over a couple of different things, but number one is I want to do a wardrobe contest. Somebody had sent me a tell in the game and said that it would be extremely cool if we did a wardrobe contest on the channel. So I thought that was a great idea. Why don't we do that? So from now until next weekend, I would like to have submissions from you guys on the various wardrobes that you guys have come up with and see how creative you really are. A lot of people has, have come up with very cool designs in the past and I would love to see what you guys have done with the newest gear and everything else that you can do. Uh, specifically now you got where you can craft entire sets of gear and stuff like that for wardrobes. So I imagine you guys will be extremely creative and especially with the new uh, colors and everything that you can use. So. Yeah, show me what you guys got. All you have to do in order to participate in this is do a little video clip of yourself. I don't really like screenshots too much because screenshots don't really show me too much. They don't show like the back of the character and all that and it's also hard to make a video of that. So if you guys could do just a little clip of, take for instance if I wanted to do a uh, video clip of me, I might zone in and then go ahead and uh, uh, do away with the UI and then do a little roundabout of the character and show off what exactly you have. And if you want to be really cool about it, you can also show us exactly what wardrobe pieces you used uh, by going to the character slot here and then going to wardrobe and mousing over the exact items that you used. So that would be very cool and if you guys end up winning this contest, I will have the viewers voting by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that already, but I'll have the viewers vote and then if you win the contest, let's see, what should we give away? How about six months of patron? Does that sound appealing to you guys? Let's go for six months of patron pass. So if you win this wardrobe contest, for a half a year, you will be a patron. Very cool, huh? So go ahead and do a video of your wardrobe. Make sure you get really high graphics and show it off. And if you are really interested in winning, doing a cool background with it. Go to a specific part of the game that will highlight your wardrobe and do a little roundabout or something like that and put it into a video and you can submit that video to a email that I will have in the description below this video or you can even put it into a YouTube video and I can snag it right off of YouTube. So yeah, go ahead and do that and hopefully it'll spur you guys to come up with some really creative stuff. So now on to the second part of the video. The next part of this video is basically going to be me rambling about uh, gear progression and what is the best way of doing it because there's so many ways of getting gear now in the game and it's all about trying to figure out which way is the best way. So let's go ahead and go over my character right now and mind you this this part of the video is just going to be me rambling so if you don't want to watch me just you know 
talking off the top of my head and not editing out all the bad parts and all that then you probably want to shut off the video now because this is just going to be me talking about whatever and so we're going to go over what my character has right now now on my character on my warrior specifically here we have uh the goal is uh main stat heavy items so if i get gear that is from the pvp boxes or something like that i want to make sure that i get primary stat heavy items and not the endurance heavy ones so we're going to go with take for instance this frenetic grade helm that we have it has uh 239 strength which is more than the 190 endurance which is exactly what i was looking for on this piece and of course we're wanting to go for attack power or crit power and no physical crit so that's what we're shooting for all right so you see on the cloak we went with the same thing and we make sure to get the best possible dream orb that we can get on there as well as the best possible rune which is 110 strength and most of the other pieces of gear of course we're going for the t2 pieces overall right now uh, because the drown profit stuff is the best in pvp right now and that's because it gets down bolstered and if you upgrade your t1 items up to the relic level it'll uh, down bolster as well which should be the same thing as the t2 items so we're going for T2 because we figure it is not going to be long before they make uh, T2 the bottom of, I'm mean, at the top of uh, PvP gear. Uh, as in they're releasing like the T3 gear and all that coming up soon. So yeah, it's only a matter of time that T2 pieces are going to be allowed in PvP probably. So that's just a guess, not, not anything confirmed or anything like that. And then we go down the list and you see I have Frost Keeper gear, uh, Frost Keeper gear, Drown Prophet, you know, all, as best that I can get for the most part. And, um, and then we get to the leggings here. Now the leggings are kind of suffering because they take Abyssal Crusader accelerators. And the big issue with that is I've gotten another item just recently called the edge of insanity this is from the nightmare saga and we're wanting to upgrade this piece because once you upgrade it it gets a proc and also more stats of course and the proc is damaging attacks have a chance to deal 16,000 to 18,000 death damage to your enemy and heal you for five percent of your health that is an amazing proc and i'm kind of disappointed that they're making me use a two-handed weapon I would really like to have two one-handers because that's my play style. I love how uh, two one-handers look, but yeah, this, this weapon's too good for me to pass up on. So I'm going to go ahead and get this item upgraded as soon as possible, but it takes 26 Abyssal Crusader Accelerators. Man, that's a lot. So whenever I'm looking at my leg pieces, I'm thinking, hey, that's good it, it's going to stay the way it is for a while because i need the abyssal crusader uh accelerators and as you can see i have enough to upgrade it but i don't want to spend them on any other item except for getting my weapon because my weapon is so important in pvp so uh if you look at the weapons i do have i have a frost keeper blade which is very nice but it has no proc at all and it needs to be upgraded as well because of course the frost keeper relic item here is allowed in pvp there is a bug in pvp at this current time that any weapon you have is not being down bolstered in pvp so you want to get the best that you can get and uh the reason why i'm not upgrading this is because it takes a vessel crusader marks again and we're wanting to spend that on our edge of insanity and uh our secondary weapon here which is basically our stat stick so to say is endurance heavy which sucks but that was the best uh sword that i've gotten so far and the boots here are from the sparkle quest and i've not bothered upgrading those either which i believe those take uh abyssal crusader accelerators uh, the reason why I haven't upgraded this really is because like some OCD is kicking off in my head for some reason. I'm thinking, man, I got T1 uh, Frostkeeper gear, we got Drown Prophet and Frenetic gear. 
and I would like to have all that gear be like one type. Uh, I was originally wanting to go with a full set of frenetic gear. That was like, you know, I don't have OCD too much, but a little bit of it kicks in every once in a while where I think, man, Having a full set of frenetic gear would be so cool. You know, uh, it would be all PVP gear, you know, it would just be awesome. That, that's the way I was thinking. I was like, man, I want all frenetic gear on my character. But then I started getting some drowned profit items and of course whenever they get down bolstered, they're a little bit better than frenetic. So yeah, that kind of killed that idea. But it's still kicking off whenever I look at these boots because I don't want these boots. They're not even Frostkeeper. They're, you know, they're from the Sparkle Quest, so they're very good, but that's the only reason why I have them. All right, so you go into my accessories over here. Now, these are where my character is lacking. And the frenetic stud I have here is very nice. Very, very nice. As in, it's crit power. It is primary stat heavy with uh, strength being uh, over the endurance. And very good item, but that's basically all I have on this whole side of the tree over here. We have a crafted earring here, which sucks, physical crit. We have the uh, expert dungeon necklace here, which is the one that you want from the expert dungeon. But it's not quite the necklace that I would like. I would like to have a frenetic necklace or something like that. And then we have uh, this trinket, which I got. Th this was the very first item that I got out of the Marauder Cash items. And yeah, I was ecstatic when I got it. It's a DPS trinket. It's very nice. It's primary stat heavy. It's physical crit, but you know, okay. You know, it, it's still really good. But the thing is, is if we try to upgrade it, it takes a Missile Crusader Accelerators and I need to upgrade my Edge of Insanity. So yeah, it's got to wait. And then we have a Crafted Ring. We have a Dream Breaker Ring, which is of course the PvP uh, box item. But it is Endurance Heavy, so I do not want to upgrade it. I'm not wanting to waste my resources on items that I would rather swap out. And then we have a seal, which this seal is terrible right now. I have not been doing enough of the nightmare uh, rifts in order to get the illusionary motes that I need, which really sucks. But eventually I'll get it. As far as the uh, focus and everything, I have the focus of nightmares, which is very nice. And then we have several of the 210 resistance uh, essences, should I say. And then we have the rest of them are the 176 resistant essences that are very easy to get. Um, I think people are selling them for like a hundred and something platinum on Wolfsbane. So yeah, very easy to get. So what I want to talk about is what is the best way to gear out your character? Obviously this is the longest and most drawn out process because I've made videos in the past where I talked about how to gear out your character, but that has changed, you know, new, new avenues have opened up and the ways that I said to gear out your character in the past are not necessarily the best way to gear them out now because now you have crafting, uh, uh, rift gear. You have, uh, of course, uh, the boxes from lock boxes, uh, the items from lock boxes and lots of different other ways to gear out your character. So the way that I said in the past may not be the best way now. So right off the top of my head, I'm thinking that my other characters, such as my rogue and my cleric and mage, they need gear pretty bad. And I was trying to do PVP to upgrade their gear, but that gives you gear that takes Abyssal Crusader accelerators in order to level them up. And that's not what I'm wanting because I want to get the Nightmare Saga weapon on all of my characters. And if I do that, then I need all the Nightmare, uh, all the Abyssal accelerators for that item. And that would make it to where I do not want to use them on other items. As you can see, 26 Abyssal Crusader accelerators needed for this. So, what should I do with the other gear? Now, right off the bat, I am kind of working on my uh, my crafting on my warrior right now, as in trying to get recipes and stuff, because 
I'm wanting to uh, basically craft some planar crafted gear. And I need it so bad on my other characters, it is crazy. But it's a long process and I might get one piece of gear recipe and then all the other pieces I don't have for my characters. So what I'm wanting to do is get planar crafted gear on the three main armor slots that is available because upgrading planar crafted gear takes void stone accelerators. Very easy to get. Whereas abyssal crusader accelerators are not as easy to get. So yeah, we're wanting to go with void stone accelerators if we can on items. So that means the planar crafted gear is very, very good. And uh, if you look on the auction house, I could run over the auction house and show you, but basically you cannot get any planar crafted gear anywhere on Wolfsbane, you know, for sale. If you look on the auction house, there are none listed. Uh, if you look in chat, nobody is selling them really. Uh, so getting those items is rather difficult for me right now. And if any of you guys are generous enough, to send my alt some planar crafted gear, boom, right there to you. Yes, uh, because that would be so generous. That would gear them out really fast. And uh, the, the items that I need are the three main armor pieces, which I believe are the helmet, shoulders, and belt is the planar crafted items, I believe, for armor. And then you have the trinket, and you can also make the weapons, but I think I might do the Nightmare Saga on my uh, characters, on all of them, and uh, get the Nightmare Saga weapons on them. And that would make it to where things are a lot better, as in, you know, geared out much faster. But that leaves open, what do I do for the other gear pieces? Uh, of course, the seal would be the crafted seal that is very easy to get that I have on my warrior right now. Um, the other armor pieces would probably be the PvP stuff. Or, you know, if I can uh, get Frostkeeper or Drown Prophet stuff. Uh, I guess as a, uh, like, to hold me over, I could probably do the Voidstone World Gear. That would be a decent idea. Or even uh, buy lockboxes and stuff off the auction house and open them up and get lockbox lock gear. Because take for example, I have one right here, which is from a promotional box. And the reason why I'm keeping this is it has the, uh, if you get two pieces of it, you can uh, increase your notoriety gained from all sources by 10%. And then I'm going to pop a potion with that and turn in all of my instant adventure and all that stuff and just get tons of notoriety. Um, that might be... That's for a future video, by the way. I, I'm like saving up these ideas for a future video on how to do notoriety. But, um, yeah, if you actually upgrade this gear, as you can see, it takes void stone accelerators. But once you upgrade it again, it starts going into abyssal crusader accelerators, exactly what we're not wanting to do because we need all of those for our nightmare saga weapon, huh? decisions decisions if you guys have a better way of gearing out your character just let me know i would love to hear about it the thing is is that if you go into uh gear that is like the crafted gear that's not the planar crafted stuff like it starts out at detailed uh if you upgrade that as much as possible the last time I remember looking at it, I, I remember it not being very competitive with T1 gear. As in, even if you upgrade it all the way, it still sucks. And take for instance this uh, promotional gear here. If we upgrade that all the way, you look and it's very competitive with my Frostkeeper gloves right here. It's only 19 less strength. Uh, 23 more dexterity and one more endurance and of course it has uh, the crit power and stuff like that it's one less crit power that's the only difference of it so it's very competitive with the t1 gear which make it worth doing uh, whereas the regular crafted gear uh, i remember looking at that thinking man it wasn't worth doing so what's the best way to gear out characters to you guys what do you think uh, 
because I, that, that's something that's on the top of my mind right now because uh, I've got to gear up my other characters. My rogue is like my second best geared character and he's still got like purple gloves that's from the rust bucket uh, achievement. So that is terrible gear, absolutely terrible gear. And he has uh, several pieces that are just the detailed level uh, crafted gear. And that's my second best character, uh, geared out character. So we're wanting to try to uh, get this going in a better direction and plan it out right. Because if we go in the direction that my warrior went, where I'm using all these Abyssal Crusader accelerators, then I'm not going to have them for my uh, Nightmare Saga weapons, which I don't have them right now for my warrior on my Nightmare Saga weapon. So, yeah. If you guys have a better way of gearing with a, a faster route that is not going to use all of my resources that I need elsewhere, then let me know what you think. What would be the best way to gear out a freshly uh, leveled up character that's freshly level 65? Um, PvP gear is pretty good, but it all takes abyssal accelerators once you get to a certain point. So, yeah. I don't know if that's the best way of doing it anymore. Especially with Nightmare Saga weapons that most people are going to want. So, hmm. I don't know. Planar crafted weapons are also really nice, but, you know, do you want to go that route? It's the armor that's a really big issue here because you you can of course do the planar crafted weapons and probably use void stone accelerators on that. Hmm, I don't know. Well, what do you guys think? Leave in the comment section below what your best route of gearing up a character is, and don't put stuff like instant adventures or anything like that because the gear from that is not competitive with uh, T1 gear and all that. So. Yeah, let me know what your best route is, what is the fastest way, the best way, so to say, and yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys and see what you guys have brainstormed up. Uh, I kind of have lots of different ideas, but I don't know which one is the best. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't mind me rambling as much as I have, but as usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.